please get real snow boots. I bombed a quiz. Listen, you hit, you hit the subscribe button. You hit, this, this is good. good. We are going to Rochester Institute of Technology here in Rochester, New York, and talk to some students, hopefully. The best people to start talking to are the frat guys. So I saw these two frat guys and I said, I got to talk to these boys. Uh, yeah, I'm Henry Ballantyne. I'm the president of Phi Delta Theta, and this is a uh, this is the quarter mile. It's our uh, yearly fall philanthropy event. Our national philanthropy is the Live Like Lou Foundation. Lou Gehrig was a Phi Delta, and ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, uh, is something that's close to Phi Delta Theta. So every year we fundraise for it, reaching just under uh, 7K. Awesome! Congrats, man. That's pretty great. It was called the quarter mile because of this event run by a different fraternity back in the 70s. Uh, my name is Ezra Schultz. Uh, I'm actually an alumni now. I just graduated in the spring. I was part of a five-year program. It was called Mechanical Engineering Technology. The technology here at RAT basically means that it's a lot more hands-on. So part of every single core class, a part of the MET department, you have to do a collaborative uh, group work. If you're a freshman coming in, a part of the MET department, you're going to do this class called um, Fundamentals of Engineering. A big part of that was this thing called Pumpkin Chunkin. And you have to put together uh, a traditional launcher. I'm going to call it a launcher. That can be a trebuchet, a catapult, a slingshot. And you have to find a way to launch a pumpkin 60 yards and you get graded on how far you shoot it and it's literally you have to hit it a certain amount of distance if you hit 60 yards you get an A if you hit 50 you get a B Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> So every class will give you a specific uh, project or group work to do, and all that's basically so that when you graduate, you can go into the workforce, and as a mechanical engineer, you're never going to be working by yourself. I was determined to find some students who could tell me about what it's like to be a non-techie major here at RIT, and they didn't disappoint. I found a few. So I'm Bailey Kale. I'm a second year here at RIT, and I study international business. I'm Jesse Burks. I'm also a second year here, and I study psychology. I'm Sophia Blina. I'm a first year, and I study criminal justice. OK, awesome. So you're kind of the exact people I've been looking for today, because like everybody else is just like something engineering, something <laughs> engineering. And like I was like, do they do other things here? We, like for my psychology program, like we do a lot of like data analysis or different things like that. Um, Sorry. I feel like everything here, I mean, it's in the name technology, but like they incorporate it with everything, which is kind of cool because I think there's a lot of majors that people do that wouldn't normally have that aspect. So you kind of get like a good mix. I'm kind of curious how you chose RIT because I feel like those majors that you've got might be the kind of thing that you would maybe normally go somewhere else for. Yeah. Um, yes. So yeah, so, fill me in. So we are actually all on the women's ice hockey team here at RIT. Mm -hmm. um, so I think for the most part, that's what brought us here. When we toured, I don't know about them, but I felt in love with the campus it's not too big it's not too small I completely agree like RIT has such a strong culture and such a friendly culture like you just constantly feel welcome I remember when I first toured I was so nervous but I didn't walk by one person that didn't like say hi or introduce themselves and it's just something great to be a part of can you tell me a little bit more about the ice hockey scene here like what's going on how, how much ass are we gonna kick <laughs> so much <laughs> it's one thing that like brings the school together and they, we have this really cool group of people they call them the corner crew and they sit in like the corner of the rink and it's just like a bunch of different people and they're all like they're like our main supporters and they wear jerseys and they have all these different chants and they're stuff. awesome <laughs> and they are awesome like so cool and they get the crowds going and it's super cool I have always wanted to talk to people who were involved in game design so I was lucky enough to find two people who could tell me a little bit about their experience one's in first year one's in third year so we get a little bit of that you know freshman vibe and also more experienced perspective I think you're gonna love it I'm Kovu game design I'm a third year my name is Christian Ofor I study game design and development. Right now, I'm a first year, I ain't gonna lie. So, so right now we're going into the intro basics of it. I'm a bit experienced with it, so like for me, I'm just like writing basic programs. What's the engine I'm forgetting? Unity. Unity. Yeah. yeah. For Unity to actually like run really basic stuff. I'm more excited for the sound design. I like, I love music a lot, so I'm excited for the sound design. What I really like about uh, RIT is that it's really kind of inclusive to the sexuality of uh, race gender, social identity, anything. You always find someone here you to hang around with. I remember my first group of friends uh, were my freshman orientation, and we honestly just got along because we saw someone playing Animal Crossing, we just got in touch since. I did do some games in some of my classes. You start out with a very basic experience. They teach you coding. Uh, then you make a game literally the next semester, so it's pretty fun there and then you just make more games along the way. I'd like to go and make like fighting games, or like more RPGs, I would love that. But from my love of music, 
I think I would really be interested in making some sort of rhythm game or some sort of music based game. That's sort of the project that I want to work on eventually. You got a favorite like game franchise? Oh, uh, I like RPGs a lot. Yeah, like yeah. what? Uh, Persona, if Persona. you could tell. Okay, I actually, I'm, I'm kind of like ignorant <laughs> of Persona, to be honest. I'm, I was more of a Final Fantasy guy myself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was I haven't gotten into that series yet. No. No. Yeah, that was like kind of my childhood and everything else. Mm -hmm. so. You can check out my music. I do music on the side. It's Reborn on SoundCloud. Shout out my boy Slain Jalen. My boy 8 Sosa, he used to change his name to 8, but right now check out his sound called 8 Sosa and Slain Jalen. My family for supporting me, helping me get here. And yeah, and shout out to y'all for watching. Hey, you hit the subscribe button, you hit the like button yet? Hey, hey, listen, you hit, you hit the subscribe button yet? Come on, man, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, come on, man. I think I finally figured out how this campus works. So like, I mean, it's a STEM school, so naturally you're gonna have a lot of like nerdy people, right, that are a little more introverted. Once you start reaching out to those people and really just kind of zeroing in on them, right, talking to them, they open up very quickly. And so no wonder nobody bothered me for so long as I walked around campus, but at the same time, like, it was really easy for me to start engaging with people. My name is uh, Gianna. Okay, Gianna. And uh, what do you study here? I study mechanical engineering. I'm a third year transfer student from a local community college. When did you start studying here at RIT? Recently? Or? Uh, like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Okay, all right. Fresh transfer. Yeah, all right. I wasn't sure if that was like a recent thing. Or... Yeah, it awesome. was like really recent. Okay, so like first impressions. How are you feeling so far? So far, I really like it. It's a lot of homework and I'm trying to stay on top of it, but all the professors have been like really welcoming, really willing to help you out. So yeah, I've had a really good experience. So uh, I'm gonna let lawnmower guy pass us for a second. <laughs> I swear he's following me around because he passes by anytime I'm over he here. That's a cameo. I think. I think. I think yeah. I think he's like. I don't get enough record. Yeah, he's showing off now. He's going fast. Yeah, he's like. See how it is. Yeah, totally. What do you like about the place so far now that you've been here a couple weeks? I like how it's very accessible. I like the campus shuttle. I live at Perkins Green, so I can just get on it. I'm here within 10 minutes, but I can also walk, I can also bike, and I like how it's organized, like all the engineering classes being in the engineering building, and yeah, it's really easy for me to get around and figure my way out here. Okay, cool. So have you had any like bumpy situations, any challenges so far? <laughs> I bombed a quiz! <laughs> so that was a little, a bit of a wake-up call, but you know. I'm going to keep moving forward because okay. it's only one grade out of That's it. Many, yep. That's many. it. It's just the beginning. Yeah. It's not about how you start, it's how you finish. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. No Jack. problem. Thank you. Hi, I'm, I'm Liam. I'm a new media design student. I'm a second year here. Um, this is my first year in the program. I transferred in from exploration last year. Were you then totally like undecided when you came in? I was thinking of going into new media at, at first, but I wasn't set on it. But I decided to go into it at the end of last year. What are you looking forward to the most? So. We're doing a project right now where we have to redesign like tarot cards basically using um, like pictures we take in like similar symbols and so I need to find people to model for it or potentially myself but I'm looking forward to designing that for my first class. Okay, cool. What do you what would you say is like your strength in terms of like graphic design or media design? My strength? Um, I'm really good at making work when I'm procrastinating but that's also kind of a weakness because I procrastinate. So good under pressure, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty typical of most creatives. I, I can relate. Yeah. Favorite program to use? Oh, my favorite program? Um, probably Illustrator. How did you choose RIT? So originally I was picking between, um, it, it came down to between RIT and Ithaca College in Ithaca, New York. But I decided that they, um, RIT has a bit more of the tech stuff that I was looking for outside of the fine arts that Ithaca also specializes in. So I figured that would be a bit better fit for me. Okay. And how hard has it been so far? Um, I'm not going to say the classwork has been crazy difficult, I'm just going to say that I'm not the greatest, like, student with the best work ethic in the world, so that's kind of part of it, but it's definitely manageable if you just, you know, do all your homework and set a little time aside. Alright, cool. I'll let you get back to the, you know, your day. Thank you so much, man. Of course, that's all I need. you. Appreciate it, Liam. Take it easy. You too, have a good one. All in all, I'm extremely happy that I was able to make it out here to RIT, and I want to give a shout out to David for just helping me coordinate this whole thing, giving me all the logistical support for today, made it really easy for me to come onto campus and check out RIT, and I'm so glad I did because honestly, this is a really unique campus, very cool place, very cool people here. Like, I, I know that the, the tech guys get a rap for being a bit shy or weird, but like, I like weird. They're good weird here. And there was a lot of fun personalities that I met today, so I'm really glad I, I was able to come here and check it out. I hope you can check it out too. 
If you're interested in RIT, you can go to rit.edu. If you need help prepping an application, you can go to prepwithscore.com and reach out to us. Uh, but otherwise, thank you for watching this video and go check out RIT. I'll see you next week.